It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Oh, the Birkin bag thing, I think, is oh, kind of dumb. So stupid. I hate seeing poor people have conversations that they they can't <sighs> even fucking relate to. Like, seriously, like, yo, it's, 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 Birkin bags are literally for the 1%. Why are 99% of the population having that conversation? Can you explain what a Birkin bag is? To I don't even fucking people? know. Yeah, does anybody know? I have no idea. It's like a grandma bag to me. Michaela probably knows. But, like, we need it on mic. Michaela, do you know what a Birkin is? But on mic, because we can't hear you. She don't know. Okay, That's fine. Birkin. It's Michaela, a, put, wait. You can't, put your yeah. lips on the mic. That's why you don't have a Birkin. You, come on. <laughs> I can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have a Birkin. So, the, <laughs> so I'm not too sure if it's like, if it's an Italian brand, but the way that the designer um, made the bag to be so exclusive, you can, you have to like order it. But um, I think it's like, you have to make an appointment and get a Yeah, you have to be accepted and approved yes, to do to it. to go and get the bag. So a lot of the Birkins that a lot of like the rapper girls and stuff, they're on they second hand market. Exactly. Those are like consignment bags that like rich people owned once upon a time and they just um. resold to them. They're not actually from the Birkin store. Mm. Let me tell you something about luxury. Yeah. Let me tell you something about luxury. Let me tell you something about designer brands, right? I was always the type of person who never gave a fuck about that kind of shit. But you don't realize you don't truly give a fuck about it mm -hmm. until you can actually afford it. Yeah. When you can when you can afford it yeah. and you know if you wanted it, you could have it, but you don't give a fuck about it, you really don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, that's a good point. There's a difference. That's why when I see all of these people, you know, having these conversations, yeah. like, I would never want no shit like that. Can you afford it? Yeah, it's like saying, like, I don't want a Lamborghini, but it's like, do you? Do you? Yeah, you never know until you really can afford a Lamborghini. Yeah. You never know what you want until you can actually fucking have it. Yeah, that's a good point. The Birkin huh? thing is just... Sure. Why don't you uh, think that's true, Taylor? Like, when it comes to a Birkin bag, for me personally, mm -hmm. I don't wear purses like that anyway, so I'm not going to want one even if I could afford it. True, but you also can't get one right now. <laughs> but, I don't, so, but I don't wear purses I know you anyway, don't. Though, I know you so. don't. I know you don't, so it's convenient. It's convenient. But well, why would I get one? Because I'm rich, though. It's, like. conve it's convenient. It's a convenient thing. No, it's not. And I want to go. An to I wanna, say you can't afford but I want right to go for a Birkin though. Like, yeah, I want to go for that. Well, if I'm going to get something expensive, like for a purse or something like that, you want that old state property jacket, that you retro that shit SP? that got mad pockets. Yeah, that's what you want. tell the dope. truth. You want that old SP bubble goose, don't you? Come on, be honest. You got me, sure. <laughs> 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 that old SP bubble goose still hitting in these streets. You want nah, to know? You want the? Uh, Birkin, you want that man. baby blue Rockaway velour <laughs> that Chris and Neef was rapping about? That's what you want. What he said, Rockaway. What he said, oh Rockaway blue. What he said. Rockaway. I don't know. What was the line? You, mean, you don't know. Powder you know, blue well, you know the line. <laughs> yeah, powder blue, powder blue Rockaway suit, white Nike. That's what you want. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. He wants me to just make him happy. <laughs> Listen, fuck them Birkins, though. I mean, yeah. that. I mean, no disrespect to anybody who got one, but it's just like, yo, who gives a shit? Like, honestly, would you spend forty thousand dollars on a purse? No, no. Not what is the point? Close. I, there's no reason to spend forty thousand dollars on a purse. Yeah, like the purse shouldn't be more valuable than, than what's in it. No. Yeah, I, I mean, listen. If my wife wanted one, no. <laughs> I wouldn't have let you buy your wife. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's a different level of, that's a different level of stupidity. $40,000 yeah. for a purse? Yeah. People out here starving? I need to know where we going, bro. Like, you what? buy shit like that when you're stunting. Meaning, like, when you're out. Like, you're going to red carpets and shit yeah, like that. You're always being photographed. That's the, the only it's reason. It's the dumbest flex because most people don't even know what the fuck it is. At bro. all. Nobody I love a subtle flex, grand. don't get me wrong. But not an expensive subtle one. What? The ring? Yeah, can't you say the same shit about the ring? Nah, nah, nah. Chill, 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 chill. The ring means something. You said it's the flex of your success. Not yet, but the ring means something. Like, that's a real commitment. I can take that shit back from her and make a necklace out of it or something like that. I can't take no Birkin bag and turn it into a pair of Jordans. You can resell it. 
Say what? You can resell it. Nah, back nah, on this nah, resale nah. market. Nah, fuck that shit. Bro. Also, I'm not gonna take my <laughs> ring back, babe. That's yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that, shit. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just not into that type of stuff. I never have been. Um, yeah, I just don't see the point. Probably because I've been broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've collected unemployment checks. Like forty thousand dollars is a lot of fucking money to be spending on a bag, bro. Also, what is the what is the uh, the like? What was the girl saying? What was her name? Saweetie. Saweetie. Yeah, and she was like, if a guy's not buying you Birkins and not paying your bills, put then send him what? back to the street. Send him back to the streets. Okay. And if there isn't a guy paying your bills, where are you? Exactly. I'm so sick of broke. And so not talking to Saweetie because Saweetie got money, but I'm so sick of broke women. Mm-hmm. Broke women coming Judging down on men. men that ain't got no money. Yeah. Who would you fuck if our standards were set up that way? Ooh. Think about that. Who would you be with if our standards were set up that way? If men were, I ain't fucking with no broke women. First of all, y'all have standards too. We don't. Yes, y'all do. <laughs> no, we don't. Yes, y'all do. We like, have maybe not for in marriage. like paying bills and stuff like that, but y'all but want a girl to cook for you. You want to wash dishes, all the other shit though. No, we are paying your bills. <laughs> <laughs> we have to even exchange. Is, you don't think yeah, so? Yeah, yeah, but also, I don't get what you mean. I'm saying no. That's not the that's not what the issue is. Yeah, you're what saying, is the issue here? You're saying what if we um, ask for that in return, or not in return, but ask for that with us? Right. Listen, I'm fine with. Listen, by the way, I have no problem. I'm, I'm, I always say, as a man, your job is to protect and provide. Yeah. I have no problem, you know, being the financial foundation of my house. I also think it's super fly when you know your woman got her own. But I, I so. just want women to know. That if your mentality is, oh, I need the guy to pay my bills, whatever, whatever, you're not independent. I'm not in that so category. So you can't sing along to all my, uh, you know, all my independent women and all that shit. Like, mm-hmm. all that I'm boss that ass shit, shit, that shit mm-hmm. is a rap. Mm-hmm. I'm not in that category. I only ask for guy, I only ask for <laughs> something guy that I could do for myself too. Really? Yeah, I don't, why would I, I'm not going to ask for a guy to have a car if I don't have a car. Like, if I'm looking for a guy like that, I just don't think it. Damn, I want y'all to punch up. I think that, you know. Punch up. Yeah. Oh, be like aspirational. Yeah. Yeah, you should be aspirational with. Yeah, you should be aspirational with dick. Mikhail, like, fuck that. Niggas paying bills. (laughs) 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 Mikhail, like, fuck that. What? No, No, come here. Come here. Come here. here. Put the. I like men with money. Hold on. Say that in the microphone. Everyone does, though. I like men with money, but, like, I'm not unrealistic. You know, I. What does that it. mean? And get closer to the microphone, please. Because I'm not, I'm not asking for a Birkin. I'm not asking you to, you know, take me around the world. Or what if you know he got pause. Birkin money? Though? Let me pause just one second. I'm not you know for what it. I hate about this Birkin conversation is now girls can act like they're not gold diggers because they just got to say, I ain't asking for a Birkin. No. Like I'm not crazy. Get this like, like, what guys are, yeah. are not understanding, like from Sweetie's topic, is like you got to take the her Birkin comment. And put it in your tax bracket. Interesting. So it's she not said necessarily... bills too, though. She said paying bills. Okay, but her bills are way more than my bills. Yeah, her you bills know? are crazy. Her bills are not compared to my little AT and T bill or something like that. So right. you got to take her statement and put it in your tax bracket. And a lot of girls are offended because it's not that they can't get a Birkin; they can't get like a Chanel or so. Do you, a Gucci do you or probably a Target bag? Do you mm. understand where like guys come from when like when they hear? about, you know, female empowerment. They hear women talking about how important it is to go to school and, like, be educated and have all this. And then they also hear the same rhetoric supported by women that's like, yo, just get a dude to pay for all your shit. Exactly. Do you I see why feel, guys are like, yo, what do y'all really want? No, I don't feel it because you guys know what type of women you go after mm-hmm. at the end of the day. That's what does that there mean? Are women yes, true. True. What does that yes, mean? Yes, you, do. you don't yes, have to be do. a hood rat, go dig a chick to want a man to pay your bills. Yeah, but there's a different level of entitlement from a girl who's, like, actually grinding on her career I think and like, all women have a level of entitlement. You know why? Because y'all giving up that wow. So when you're giving up somebody, <laughs> no, seriously, when you're giving a man something like that, let's not act like you don't have a sense of entitlement. Yeah, Imagine but- you fucked a dude last night and you asked him just to buy you fucking Chick fil A today. And he's like, I ain't buying you no fucking Chick fil A. You'd be so offended and so insulted. Like, I just gave you some But I would last look night. stupid as a woman for dealing with a guy who can't even get me Chick fil A. No, that's what, I didn't say he what? can't. He said he don't want to. That's still, yeah. I would feel, I would feel, I would be stupid as a woman that's to lay with point. a man. Who won't even? You can't ask anybody for something like but, you shouldn't be sleeping with them in think, the first place. You think it's weird you get, you to ask get, someone for Chick Fil A? I mean, no, no, I'm just using that. Just, just, I'm just like using that as an bucks, example. Right? You gave like, him some. You gave him <laughs> right? some what? Right? Yeah. And whether you know it or not, you feel entitled to something from this person. 
Well, a lot of girls, well, a lot of women like that go into it like they know that he has money, so they expect to get something, you know, because they gave up their pussy. Like they Herpes. say, the saying, <laughs> the saying is like a lot of women fuck rich men for free. Because they know that they're rich. That's the and same? So, yes. And you expect something out That's of them. Free, Explain though. this shit to me then. That's you're fucking rich shit. men because you're going to what you see them in the club. They're popping bottles. You see them oh, yeah, on guys, Instagram. Guys. They're showing off their money on their sleeve. Nah, and so you literally that. just fuck them at a hope and a chance and a whim nah, that, that, that he's going to give you some money one day. Nah, what to about that. our And a lot of guys get over like that. Wait a minute. So you're saying just because we dress this way. Not you think that, that we're this is, this you think that we're gonna behave a certain way? You yes. think just because we're dressed in a certain way wow. that we were gonna behave wow. a certain wow. way towards no, you? No, but if you that's are, crazy. If you're on Instagram and you have money going up just your because, arm, wow. then I know you're probably a just scammer. Just because we have wait, money wait, going wait. up our arm, wow. you think that we're just gonna like give you money, something? Man? You're entitled to that just because yes. we're dressed this way? Yes. I think that that is that's the, slut that's shaming. The male, what are you wearing, bro? No, that's, that's the, the male, male. That, what are you that's wearing? That's the male, what are you wearing? You wow. just, We're you popping just, bottles, no, so we got to give you Word money? Up. That's crazy. You just that's like, and then hold up. So we're popping bottles, so we got to give you money. But if the guy <laughs> has a girl at the table that he's popping bottles at, and he assumes, yo, I think she wants to give me some pussy, he's an asshole. Ooh. That's crazy. That's a double standard. Ooh. Double. It is a double standard. Ooh. But a lot of times that girl, she knew what it was when she came out. What do you mean? What is that? She, what do you mean? You said that Come she was on. at the table uh -huh. and the guys, uh, you know, popping bottles or whatever. Mm -hmm. she, so she's going to be popping all, something she, too. She, she knew what it was. Shout out to all the backward ass girls fucking rich dudes for free. And by the way, <laughs> I, 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 that is something to that because, you know, back in the day when I was active, you know, one of my people that I used active. to associate with. <laughs> Um, when I was active, when I was but back in the day, when I was active, you know, one of the, one of the young ladies I was dealing with, we were super cool, right. and she used to deal with like ball players and rappers and everybody right. else. And I'm talking about like she was dating an all star that I know he had like a hundred fifty million dollar contract, some wow. shit like that. No, this is before the salary cap, so like a hundred million dollar contract. Right. Um, and she used to be asking me for money, and I'm like, "Why ain't you fucking such and such?" Wow. And she was like, "Yeah, but I don't want to ask him for nothing because I don't want him to think I'm with him for his money." I'm so like, you what asking the me? Fuck? <laughs> Do you have a paw or some wop? Wow. The reason I say paw because you're thinking backwards with your pussy. What's paw? I don't know if you drop backwards. Pussy ass wet? <laughs> oh, I thought paw is like, you know how a dog's paws are dry? <laughs> paw is poor ass womb. Poor That's ass that womb. Is, okay? Your poor ass womb. Talk to the man that got the $100 million contract and get us some fucking money. Get us some money. Build with me. Yes. Yeah. Why are you asking me? Yeah, that's a great Like, I'm point. not even, I, at the time, I'm not even in this guy's salary cap you know what yeah. I mean so why don't you talk to him like why are you coming to me for and, and look I mean by the way yeah. not even big money and that's the thing that a lot of women probably don't understand did you feel weird filling that guy's shoes like that you nah, guys were sharing bro. a little something Just, yeah he might he might have had the height you know what I'm saying but uh, <laughs> You had the humor. He's <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, man. You'd be surprised how many men want to do something for you. You know what I'm saying? So while you sitting around giving out all this pussy for free to this rich Negro, he's sitting around wondering why she ain't asked me for nothing yet. Oh. You think that, like, honestly, y'all really think that makes you makes you stand out to him? Yes. No. No. I don't like to ask for. I don't know. This is weird to me. You don't like to ask for what? I don't ask for money or nothing like that. Good, don't, don't, don't ask for like, money. A guy will I take care of you. Guy, you exactly, never, you never have to ask it. for money in your life from a guy. Don't ever ask for money from a life. If a guy really one notices that you need something and he He'll cares about you, you, he's gonna get for you. Yeah. But do not ever yeah. ask for money. If you ask for money a single time, it will ruin everything. I promise you. The only thing you should ever offer to buy a girl is teeth. You know Here what I'm saying? If you, see she need, if you see she needs some teeth, buy some motherfucking teeth. I'm serious. If it looks like God was just rolling dice in her mouth and just was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Yes, buy her some teeth. Teeth is the shit. You don't think so? You I love teeth. teeth, bro. You got to have good teeth. Yes, man. Good that's a teeth different. Are Yo, don't be missing teeth too, bro. I can't do that. Two missing things you teeth? can do for a woman is change her life, buy her some teeth, pay off her student loans. Mm. Ooh, fuck Yo, the you know, Birkin. I just realized. This motherfucker. He paid off his wife's student loans yep. and he got her braces. You just compliment <laughs> yourself, bro. You really are a piece of shit. <laughs> what is 
say? <laughs> what you mean? That's the really goal. Are a piece like, of yo, shit. Go, yo, uh, listen. The best thing you could do you, for you, a girl is what I did. That's right. <laughs> you gotta listen. Glow your woman up in ways that actually can provide real bragging rights. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, you got a Birkin, but is your student loans paid off? I'm just saying. You got a Birkin, but look at your teeth. Yeah, don't have a Birkin and your teeth look crazy, man. man. Come on, man. Shout out to everybody with the veneers. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure. I didn't realize that when you first get veneers, you got to file them down. I didn't know you had to wait. What do you mean? What do you mean you have to file them down? You got to (laughs) wait. What? (laughs) Hold on. You're not on a microphone. Nobody can hear anything that's being said. We've been doing this podcast for five years. Nobody (laughs) has learned that. Nobody has learned that. Still talking. Nobody's learned that. It's an audio experience. And there's no audio coming out. But yes, when you give so veneers, I would love to hear down. your story about veneers. I would love to hear your story about veneers. But right now, nobody has any clue what it's talking about. So <laughs> you can walk over to that microphone right there. Ideally, not in front of the cameras, Michaela. But you can walk over there Word. and you could tell us this whole thing, Paige, if you'd like. If I you feel like it. it. If you feel like it. Well, listen, all I'm saying is get your women's teeth fixed. Listen. Get People you can't hear what you're saying they right can't. now. You could be they screaming can't. the N word at the top of your lungs and nobody would know because you're not on mic. They're going to blame it on Andrews. I think I heard Andrews say the N word. Bro. <laughs> I said, I said uh, in Spanish, negro. I told you that last negra, week that was going to happen. Right? I said it and literally there is somebody who has slowed it down. <laughs> And it's I in, told you that was gonna happen. Bro. Didn't catch me, bro. <laughs> Didn't catch me, bro. Can't catch me, bro. Listen, but the moral of the story is get your women's teeth fixed before you buy her a Birkin because they're eventually gonna have a vaccine for this COVID and she can't wear masks forever. I know it's cool. That's fact. It's cool now for her yeah. to wear the mask, but eventually these masks gonna come off, bro. Yeah.